Hey guys, we're here at the 2011 GNT MPC Excalibur. I'm here with Chris Millen, right? Chris Minnis. Minnis, sorry about that. We'll talk about, um, I saw you on MD, prepping up for the show, some videos. How is that pressure for you to be under the gun before the show, kind of showing your goods before the show? It definitely made me step it up. Um, you know, I, I didn't give it any more than I would have anyway, but it made me really conscious that now people are kind of looking at me. You know, and I, I wondered throughout, do I deserve this kind of exposure? And I, and I think what it was was more an example for people who, if they work hard, they can make their way up. You know, I got, I got top five, and that's what I was hoping for. And this is going to be a step towards, you know, hopefully one day hitting the center podium. I watched some of the videos, you very intensive videos. It was kind of inspiring to watch. It wasn't the everyday blah, blah, blah. You trained really hard in the videos. You also talked about, I listened to your calorie of your diet. It was like, quite a like higher calories that I'm used to hearing about. Tell us a little bit about your dieting. Well, what I do is actually I, I figure out my total um, required calories for the day. I have crazy spreadsheets that I use. And uh, I, I, keep, I kept it about four to five thousand, uh, four to four to 4,500 calories up till about three weeks out. Of course, they were very clean calories. So, you know, we're looking at oats and, you know, brown rice and, and chicken breasts almost exclusively. Um, and really what I was trying to do was grow into the show. Then those last three weeks, I cut at about a 500 calorie deficit, which put me at about 3,000, 3,500 and up the cardio. That way, way I was able to keep as much size as possible. Actually doing that, I ended up putting on 10 pounds from when I did the LA back in July. That's a big, big change. That must have been great to feel in such a short time putting on that much size. People don't put that size on in a year. Yeah, I was really happy with it. Um, I, I couldn't have asked for more. I'm hoping to maintain that momentum into the next show. Right now I'm looking at probably late June, July, something like that. I really time, time shows for my body rather than you know, what show do I want to do next? So now I'm looking around July, and I think maybe I could get another 10 pounds if I continue on this path like I'm doing, this high calorie, real clean diet. So maybe the Southern Cal, which comes up at NBC, um, what else are you doing besides this? Is it, this, What have I done besides this? Oh, no, what, are you, oh. what are you gonna be doing besides, you know, what's, what's your job or profession? Yeah, what I do, I actually live part-time in Lake Tahoe. I am part-time uh, down here, and I have two gigs going. Down here, I have a company called Center Podium where people get to train with Cormier, Joey Glor from MTV, Venus Wynn. We, we take care of the hotels and stuff, so that's one job. And then my other job is actually um, consult and run a hotel up in Lake Tahoe. So I'll be back and forth. In the meantime, I'm going to be skiing for the next uh, five, six weeks or so. Been doing high reps, so might as well take advantage of it, but I'm not going to miss a day at the gym. How does your jobs affect your dieting? Is it easy? Is it hard? What I'm trying to do is transition into a lifestyle that allows me to do both. I've had those jobs where I'm in the office 10, 12 hours a day. There's not a lot of supportive people around me. So that's why I started this business center podium down here in Venice so that I have more flexibility so I can get my meals in every two and a half hours, never miss a gym, have the energy I need for the gym. So it's really, a, it's a whole lifestyle change to make this a priority. But I tell you, you wouldn't notice if you just did a show right now. You have so much energy in you. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's getting late right now, but uh, I want to congratulate you. Hey, thank Wish you. you all the best and look for you in the future, hopefully the June, the Southern Cow. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, so sir. from Muscle Contest, I'm Derek Fonsworth.